Hi, welcome to MDES Tutorials. Today, I will be showing you how to set up an online meeting or video call with your team members on MDesk. Let's get started. To start a video or conference call with any of your team members on MDesk, you will need to go into the contacts section of your workspace. Here, you can start a meeting by clicking the Start Meeting button. The Start Meeting panel will then appear. Here, you can enter the topic of the meeting and select the attendees that you would like to invite. You can add users or entire groups. Then click Start Now to begin your call. For a quicker option to start a call, you can directly select a member of your workspace by clicking the video call icon in the contact card. You can also start a meeting directly with all members of a group. This can be done in the Groups section. Here, choose the option Start Meeting at a Group. OK, let's start an actual meeting now. Once you begin your video call, a new tab will open with a new meeting room. Your browser will ask for permission to use your camera and microphone. However, this may vary depending on the browser you will be using. Make sure you permit your browser to use them both. You will then enter into the meeting room while you wait for your attendees to enter. The person who created the meeting is the moderator. All other attendees will now receive an in-app and email notification to join the meeting. As a moderator, you can enable further security and privacy measures for the meeting. When the Enable Lobby toggle has been switched on, the attendees invited will need to wait to be allowed into the meeting by the moderator. Additionally, the moderator can set a passcode for the meeting. The participants will need to provide the passcode before being allowed to join in the meeting room. If you have been invited to a meeting, you will receive an in-app and email notification that you've been invited into a video call. If you are logged onto MDesk, a notification will appear at the top. Simply click the Join button and enter the meeting. A notification will also appear in the Notifications panel, where you also have the opportunity to join. And if you are not logged onto MDesk, you will be sent an email to your inbox informing you that you've been invited to a meeting with a link to immediately join the meeting room. During a meeting, you will either be a moderator or a regular attendee. The user that started the meeting is the moderator by default, and all others are regular attendees. However, regular attendees can be promoted to become a moderator by the original moderator. The moderator has the ability to add further attendees while in the call. You can simply click the Add Attendees button at the top of the page. Select an additional attendee and then click Add Attendee. All added attendees will now receive an in-app and email notification to join the meeting. Moderators also have the ability to manage the mute status of individual attendees or all participants in the window options. Additionally, the moderator can remove an attendee from the meeting. All attendees in the meeting have the ability to start a chat within the video call by selecting the chat icon. The chat icon allows the attendees to chat with all meeting attendees. However, if you wish to chat with only one person in the meeting, then you can send a private message to this person by clicking the options icon on the person's profile picture in the meeting room and select send private message. Attendees will also be able to share their screen or a selected window by clicking the screen share icon at the bottom next to the chat icon. You can also click the raise hand icon. With this, the moderator will see a blue hand in their camera window. You can select to mute yourself or turn your camera off if you would like. While your camera is on, you can also choose a virtual background. You can switch your current view mode by clicking the view icon at the bottom. You can either have a parallel view of the participants involved in the meeting, you can have a single view of whichever participant that is currently speaking, or you will see the screen share. Finally, if you would like to leave the meeting, simply click Leave Meeting at the top. If you have left the meeting by mistake, you can easily rejoin the meeting by clicking the Join button in the notification panels or in your email. 
MDISC. Focus on research, drive innovation.